before we commence, I want to give props to a young man named T Grizzly, who sent in a song a very, very epic line that I think I think we all need to hear. Something that we all need to let niggas know about ourselves at some point in time. He said, I know for a fact, and I'm going to interpret it in a better and more traditional English because I can't necessarily say what he said because then I won't be able to run ads on this YouTube video and I won't be able to get paid. He said, I know for a fact the crevice in between your girlfriend's legs gets wet for a Negro because I do it better. Plus, I'm doing better than other Negroes in approximate re- in pra- in approximate distance. What's going on with you, man? What's going on with you? We here right now in the People's Paradise podcast. Shout out to everybody who's been listening to me live. Shout out to everybody who's been messing with the random rhetoric of today. Oh, it's a Friday. It's Friday morning. Loki hell inside right now. I've been up doing videos all day. been doing podcasts all day, but trying to trace a dream. So I got to be out here on my swivel. Uh, what's going on with you? Uh, what I'm doing today is I've been doing the last four or five videos I've done is I've been taking questions or rather begging for questions to be real with you. I've been begging for questions for people to ask me questions because I've always done videos talking about random things. Whether well, it's the video I just posted four videos ago talking about the shape of water trail, which bro, that movie's gonna be so fire, nigga. But uh, whether it's talking about that, whether it's talking about African American drone supporters, whether it's talking about Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And so shout out to the homie Calavante. I asked him if he had any questions. He gave me one that was interesting. He said, what's my opinion? He said, what's your opinion on our peers about Sacramento as a like-minded city with people who are focused on proving their street street credibility over doing the sensible and correct thing? Now, I'm not that good with my English. I ain't that good with my English. So I might have misunderstood that. So... I'm just going to give you my interpretation of what the question was. Well, I guess what he was saying is, what's my opinion about dudes out there in Sacramento who are focused on proving their street credibility? In other words, who are focused on proving that they really with this shit, that niggas really know they out here, niggas know that they on that fuck shit, niggas know not to fuck with them, versus on doing the traditional thing like trying to go to school, getting a degree, trying to get a job, providing for your family, what's up with that? And to me, I mean... Well, for one thing, let's just stay on the phone. For one thing, when it comes to Sacramento, that's only one side of Sacramento. Let me just point that right there. That's only one side of Sacramento. Not the whole... I think Sacramento is one of those type of cities where if you come to Sacramento, it's kind of like how San Francisco is. Depending on who you're hanging around, depending on the associates that you have around you on a regular basis, you might only see that one side. There is a side of Sacramento that's all gangland. Niggas is in the trenches with chops and AKs going at each other on some real-ish. But at the same time, it's a side where you find people who are doing hang gliding, skydiving you got goddamn fraternities there's some masons clubs out here like it's, it's more it's di- more diverse than that now when it comes to dudes who are part of the street life who, who really big on the urban culture and trying to bang it it's like that man it's like what i've always said when it comes to gang banging when it comes to gang banging and the reason why i'd say for black people the reason we like reason why it's so important to us i guess is because for such a long time, gang banging, being a part of gang for the last four or five generations of black people, it's a badge of masculinity. It's a sign of honor. It's a badge of honor to be like, yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm a blood nigga. I'm Pyru. I'm out here. I'm hell gang. I'm shit like this. It's a badge of honor community. Now, my dad was in the gang. My uncles was in the gangs. And it's always been a badge of honor in our culture. Now, it ain't the proudest badge of honor to have because most of the niggas that I know who's in gangs, they go to jail. And they usually go to jail for a long time. I got uncles who I ain't never even seen before. They've been in jail for my, since I was born. You know, so it ain't the wisest choice to choose. But you got to understand, you know, you for a lot of these dudes out there who getting involved with 14, 15, 16 years old, who out here banging and stuff like that, showing the school with MKs and they backpack and shit like that. You got to understand, they going off of the influence of their family. They going off the influence of their neighborhood. They going off the influence of a lot of dudes out here like myself, like my younger brother who in jail right now. The only image, the only the only image and impression that we had of our father was knowing that he was part of a gang and niggas respected him for that. So when they grow up, they want to be part of that. They want to be part of that. They want to they want to have that. They want to fulfill that sometimes, you know, and it's sad. Now, what I would tell all the young niggas who in gangs nowadays who are in, who banging in middle school, who banging in high school, really with that fuck shit. What I would tell all y'all niggas is, is, bruh, that shit ain't cool. Once you get past the age of 18 Shit ain't cool no more. Once the once people can once the once the once the once the once the white man can take you can take can take start taking you to the county jail, nigga, not the juvenile detention, not to the goddamn Pantherville, not to the uh, little um what's what's what they used to, what they used to send us to goddamn the uh what was it the um 
the um was it the adoption home something like that the, the homes and shit once it gets to that point where they don't put you in them job court programs and them work programs and they can't take you to juvenile detention they start taking you to the county jail send you up to vacaville it ain't cool no more like i'm telling you it's only cool once you get past age 18 your mama really start getting fed up with you you would get fed up with spending her ebt food stamp money on your black ass at a certain point bro you gotta slow up and at the end it's just, it's just I like I, that gang banging thing. Being a part of a gang bang is only cool when you in high school. Once you get past that age, where you got to do something else, you know you got other responsibilities on you. When you a grown man, you can't be doing it. Even when you a teenager, you can't do that. But when you pass the age of eighteen, you really can't be doing it no more, nigga. Because now, because now it's bad. Now it's really bad. Now, because at a certain point, not everybody getting fed up with you, you know. So I, I, that's all I can say on that. You know, I obviously, obviously, I'm going to tell you, you know, proving your street credibility. Street, street credibility means. Street credibility means nothing in the real world. It means nothing in the real world. You know, I think when you go to the ghetto, if you go to the streets of Old Park, if you go to the streets of Meta, if you go to the streets of uh, seminaries in Oakland, I feel like those are their own enclaves of their own little world that exists inside of it. It's not, and it's like a disconnect. It's always been a disconnect between the ghetto and the real world and what you do to survive in the ghetto versus what you do to survive in the real world. And it's kind of hard to connect those two because, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a lot that goes into that, man. You know, all I can say is, like, all I can say is, is what I wish, what I wish what people would start doing, man, is I wish, I wish, what I wish what we would start doing is we would stop putting so much, so given so much popular respect and so much honor and so much respect to dudes who gangbang and the dudes who part of the hood and dudes who are, who are street niggas. I wish we would stop giving honor to that nigga. I'll never forget, man, when I was, when I was like, um, when I went off, when I first went off to college, and I remember when I first went off to college, I I got my shit. I went to ASU, and I when I first got my acceptance letter, you know, I went and dudes told. No, I went and got my acceptance letter. I'm all geeked up. I'm happy and shit. Nigga, and nobody said nothing. Nobody in the hood said anything, said anything to me. Nobody called me. Nobody showed me love. My mom showed me love, but nobody was proud of me. Nobody said anything like that. When my dad got back home from doing like 15 years in jail. It was like a whole block party, nigga. Everybody in Oak Park showed up. Everybody was there. Everybody all happy and popping liquor and stuff like that. Yeah, that was all. I ain't going to say his name because I don't want niggas coming from my head like that. You know, that was all. Everybody all hyped up and stuff like that. You know, I you know, I, I kind of felt, felt a certain way about that because I'm like, you celebrating this man because he got home from killing some goddamn body. Me, I'm trying to make progress with my life and I can't even get a fucking uh, hope you do well card. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, what do you guys think? You know, what do you guys think about that? You now, what, what's your what's your personal opinion about that? What's your personal opinion about dudes trying to be part of the street life? Dudes out here trying to gangbang. What's your opinion about that? You know, and also, and also, click, click subscribe, man. Like I always tell everybody, man. You know, I'm like the prophet. I'm like the prophet of the real world. So press subscribe, press share. You know, let everybody know about me. I really want to connect with you, bro. I really want to know who's talking. I want to know who's listening to me. So with that being said, my name is JT. Thank you guys for listening.